Hello everybody. Gage says it's empty. Let's go see what's in the bridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. It's great to see everybody today. We got a little 12 ounce can of Left Hand Brewing's Peanut Butter Milk Stout. This is an easy drinker here guys. Not a big huge beer. It's only 6.2%. So uh, not something that's going to get you super inebriated. So a little bit on the lighter side this time. Uh, and I paid... Uh, three dollars and nineteen cents for this uh, so uh, very reasonable I mean and of course you're always going to get a break uh, on buying a six pack or a four pack or, or whatever uh, most of the time depending on where you're buying it uh, and of course these guys left hands are out of Colorado and I've done a lot of their beer not recently but uh, when I was reviewing, I, I got into pretty much most of the breweries that were around at the time and, and, and did whatever I could get my hands on that was offered locally to me. But anyway, uh, it's a milk stout, so it means it has lactose in it. It says rich milk chocolate notes team up with peanut buttery perfection for a deliciously, oh, I can't see that, deliciously dark duo. So. Is it a Reese cup in the glass? That's what they have pictured on the front here, guys. The rich Reese cups. So and that's what I'm expecting. Uh, I wouldn't typically buy a 6.2 percent beer, but knowing how good they do these stouts, the nitro stout that they do is pretty damn tasty. Uh, but they're they're manageable. They're they're lower ABV beers, guys. So they're not into that. 9, 10 off the chart ABB stouts. So, uh, should be should be very easy to handle at 6.2%. Uh, we've gone up with everything. 25 IBUs, 6.2%. And they actually have a best buy date, 9, 25, 22. And we're within that. So, 12 ounces, a couple, couple sips. <laughs> 16, much better on this guy. But anyway, it's not super black. It looks like cola coming out here, guys. It's going to look dark in the glass, but it's not motor oil coming out. And I'm going to do the little swirly swirl just in case there's anything that has settled down in that bottom. Because I don't know what shelf life they're giving us, guys. And, you know, different breweries do different shelf lives. And different shelf lives for different styles. So, uh, Reese Cups is what they got pictured. Is it that? The head is awful white. It's not solid white, but it's not dark, rich, chocolatey. Uh, tells me, mm, another question mark in my head. It's not a rich, it's a very light colored head for a stout. Uh, so, and again, uh, just a little over a finger. Head over there, and it looks dark in the glass. I can see some red, red rubiness around the bottom down here, guys. So, it's not pitch black. So, uh, what do you think so far? The head is a telltale a lot of times. Especially on this style of beer. To the nose we go. Well, I'm getting it. I mean, I'm getting peanut butter and I'm getting chocolate. Reese cup in the glass? Maybe a Reese cup light. It's there, guys, but it's not super prominent. It's, it's there. I'm... I'm I'm afraid this is going and then again it's a 6.2 it's not going to have a thick heavy mouthfeel being at 6.2 percent it's going to be thin to medium probably so let's find out here again yes there faint chocolate 
peanut butter super thin super thin I mean this would probably be an awesome beard if it was a eight nine percenter a little bit thicker heavier mouthfeel a little creamier might produce a little darker head depending on the malt they've used in the brewing process so when I seen that white head I, I knew right there that the taste is going to be thin it's not going to have that heavy uh, medium to heavy mouthfeel that uh, a lot of the sounds do but again it's 6.2 percent Reese cup light if you will I'm going to go sip on it alright guys I'm back got just a little bit left here Reese cup light I'm going to stick with that I mean it's kind of thin kind of watery uh, probably not something I would buy again probably sure Decent guys. That's where I'm gonna put this. Uh, 88 for me on this. Uh, again, it does have the Reese cup taste, but it's on the light side, uh, and the beer is kind of thin and watery. Uh, but again, it's only a 6.2 percent. That's not a heavier, uh, thicker mouthfeel type beer being that low ABV. So. Some of you guys might think this is super tasty. So, at least if you can, if you see it, pick it up. Buy one, try it. If you like it, buy more. So, 88 for me on this one, guys. Over to Bear Advocate. They say 86. So, yeah, I'm giving it a little bit better grade than them. And over to Untap, they have it at 3.83, which is also in their B plus range. So, uh, it's, it's a B plus beer, guys. I mean, Taking it for what it is, uh, if you're looking for something light, maybe you can even have this for breakfast if you wanted to. Uh, hopefully you're not going to work after you're having beer, but uh, for a weekend or something, uh, I think, you know, you can make this probably work with some pancakes or waffles or something. So, with that being said, if you've had the peanut butter milk stout from Le Pan Brewing, let me know what you think. And meet again. Let's go see what's in the fridge.